What's shaking, YouTube? It's your boy, Graybeard Gamer. I have one question for you. Are you tired of going into Black Ops 4 gunfights only to come out the other side feeling like the floor of a public restroom after all-you-can-eat chili day? I was too, but I made some changes. And in this video today, I'm going to share those with you and give you four tips that are going to help you improve your gameplay and level the battlefield right after this. Thanks for checking out the video, fellas. As I said, my name is Graybeard Gamer. Before we get into the four tips that are going to make you a great Call of Duty Black Ops 4 player, make sure you smack that like button. And if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We got lots of tip videos, best class setups, gun reviews, anything and everything that we can do to make you the best Black Ops 4 player that you can be, I guarantee you will do it. But without any further delay, I want to go ahead and jump into these tips because I promise you, fellas, if you implement these into your routine you will be a better black ops 4 player the first thing i want to talk about it's actually the four p's it sounds kind of ridiculous i noticed that as i was writing this stuff down but anyway the first one is positioning you want to position yourself to where you have an advantage in a gunfight you want to be behind cover or higher than your enemy it sounds like it's simple and rudimentary but when you get in a gunfight sometimes you lose focus because you're strafing back and forth and you pull yourself out from behind cover. Be conscious of where the cover's at and stay close to it. One of the main reasons for this is because you're going to have options if you do this. If you feel like the gunfight is getting out of control or you're not going to win that gunfight, it gives you the ability to retreat behind that cover, heal yourself a little bit, and then re-engage your enemy or retreat altogether. This will give you an advantage in every gunfight if you plan this way. And also, make sure you know the rush routes for the game type that you're playing. Whether it be domination or safeguard or whatever it is, be familiar with the rush routes. That way you're prepared and you know most of the time where the enemies are going to be coming from. The second tip is pace. You need to play at a pace that is comfortable for you. You don't want to put yourself playing faster or slower than normal because... If you even if you slow down and a lot of people say well just slow down but what happens is you may get a kill or two but you're going to show up on the mini map and then the entire team is going to come take you out but if you play too fast you're going to end up making minimal mistakes and you're going to jump out to shoot somebody and all of a sudden there's three enemies there and you're going to take yourself out most of the time when you and I die in these matches it's because of mistakes that we've made so play at a pace that you're comfortable with one that matches your skill level and one that also matches the skill level of the lobby teammates that you have you don't want to put yourself out there with no backup and also keep patrolling in, in one singular area stay in a spot I don't mean camp I mean move back and forth in an area if you're playing an objective play uh, based game you want to make sure that you're playing that objective, but you're holding down an area. If you'll watch the best YouTubers out there like Korean Savage, he patrols an area until he is fully clear that he is head and shoulders above everybody he's playing with. Now, he's, he's an anomaly. He's a great player, but he patrols an area. Watch his videos and you'll see. The third tip is keep your poise. This is what's going to cause you to lose most of your gunfights. You're going to get in a gunfight. Either the enemy is surprising you or they're landing shots and you're landing shots and you just don't have a good feel for it and you're going to panic a little bit and what's going to happen is your hands are going to tense up and when your hands tense up your thumbs are going to tense up and that's going to cause you to lose your aim you're going to start missing shots and your enemy is going to take you out relax it's a gunfight you've been in thousands of these so keep loose and win that gunfight and the fourth tip should go without saying fellas but it doesn't you need to practice and believe it or not, just playing Black Ops 4 is not good enough. You have to play each match with the intention of improving your game. So when you go into a match, have a goal in mind. I want to have X amount of kills. I want to only have X amount of deaths. Or I want to have whatever KD ratio. If you go in with this mindset, it's also going to help you control your pace of play. You're going to play smarter. You're going to get more kills. You're going to die less. You're going to cycle your kill streaks. And you're going to have some big gameplays. And you're going to look back on this video and you're going to say, wow, Graybeard was right. I just need to slow down. I need to practice. I need to have poise. And I need to pay attention to my pace. So just real quick, real recap. Mind your positioning. Make sure you have an escape route if you need one. Your pace of play is everything. So make sure you're playing at a pace that matches your skill level and the skill level of your lobby. 
keep your poise in those one-on-one -on -one gunfights, and practice, practice, practice. It's going to make the difference, fellas. Go in trying to improve every single match, have a goal in mind, and achieve that goal. Anyway, fellas, we're coming down to the end of the video. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. If you're watching this far, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe if it's your first time here. My name is Graybeard Gamer, and I'm out.